I uh, finished up a uh, half of a uh, year down here in that, and after Christmas, I went to Boone and and took took it till commencement, till as long as the school went. And the next year, then I went at the beginning of school and stayed all the way through that term. And I was due to have gone back, but my older sister was teaching in Greensboro, and she wanted me so bad to go down there and I couldn't enter freshman college. I wasn't that far along, but I could take the preparatory to it, which I did. And I got along fine in it and passed my work good, but I just wouldn't go back to next year. I just wouldn't do it. And that was the year that I taught the little school over yonder. I went and took the county examination mm -hmm. and passed it all. Mm -hmm. And so that's how it and then I taught that little school, and the next year then, I taught at Sutherland mm -hmm. uh, uh, with Joe Rowland. And then the next year, I finished out three months with those two teachers at Ashland. Then the next year, I uh, taught at Ashland, and then I taught twice right up here at Ashley in a one-room school building. Up it wasn't a little old log house. They had built a little new schoolhouse on our chandra on top of the Pine Hill. And I taught two schools there, and Ross Weaver said, but I always hold it again you that you didn't teach on till I got my young and started in school. <laughs> he said, May and uh, Mabel, it was the oldest, Mabel and May, and Maxie, you know who Maxie yes, is. Yes, sure. She, the last year, she went to school. But that May, she could lap it up like a dog or lap in water. Smart, wasn't it? Smart, I'd say it. Uh, now, when you say, I went to Greensboro and I went to Boone, tell me about the transportation. Now, how did you go to Greensboro and how did you go well, to Boone? Well, when we went to school at Boone, <coughs> the first time after Christmas, my daddy had a good two-horse buggy and we tied the trunk on the back of it. And it took about all day to make it that way. Then we had a, a hack of a thing. We didn't have any cover. And we either, the, the, another time, Mr. Miller Jones took a bunch of us. And it, it took over a day. He took us in a wagon and we spent the night out at Meat Camp. We went on into Boone the next day. We couldn't make it in a day. In couldn't a wagon. make it from here to Boone in a day. Not in a wagon. You could with a buggy. Or was, a meat, bike. It was meat camp a sort of a campground? Well, it was, uh, I don't know what gave it the name, but but you was getting way up in the, uh, toward Boone when mm -hmm. you went. I don't know what made them call it meat camp. It might have been sort of a middle ground sometime, maybe during the war, for all I know. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, and uh, when I the last year I was at Boone, they they didn't go to the twelfth grade till after I left up there. No. Well, now uh, when when you say you camped out, did what? How did you camp out? Did you sleep in the wagon? Well, the boys did. We knew a uh, well. We didn't know them, but we got a room in a home up there at me camp. They, mm -hmm. There's a place where they keep people that way. Mm -hmm. Jess and, uh, and let's see, Elmer Baldwin and somebody else, I forget who, were the boys that went. And Mr. Jones got room for uh, Maud. His daughter was going. Did you ever know Arthur Weaver? I know who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. well, he was giving Maud Jones a rush then, mm -hmm. and he took her in a buggy. And the rest of us had to ride the wagon. <laughs> but, but he drove behind the wagon all day with Maud. And, and she and I roomed together. And I just dragged her about her. And after I said I didn't have a thing to do but just ride backwards and watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Maud and I had a big time as oh. long as she lived. Did you get pretty homesick? You know, that's a day away from home or a day away oh. from home, wasn't it? Yeah, and when I went that fall, I knew I wasn't coming back till the next spring. All I, through the holiday, Christmas, you didn't yeah, get home for Christmas? No, sir. It took I mean, you were all the way over here in Boone and couldn't get home. Yes, sir. <laughs> and uh, oh, and uh, Frank, Jones, Frank Jones, Maud's brother, 
come and brought her home to stay. She wouldn't go back for the second term. And it was uh, with them that I sent that picture and that great big a platter for my mother. Oh, <laughs> for her Christmas. Yeah. Oh, you were homesick, I bet. Oh, I was. Almost yeah. died. Yeah. But I was determined. Out. They was, uh, I believe they was one more girl from Wilkes that stayed up there, but she was invited out. And I had some friends <coughs> over on Cove Creek, but they, the girl over there, they was loaded with company. I could have gone over there and had a big time. But I didn't try to go, so uh, you just tucked it out. I tucked it out. <laughs> now, how long yeah. did it take you to, and how did you go to Greensboro? We went to Wilkesboro, uh, and oh, I didn't know uh, Mr. Levi Ashley wagoned for Uncle Cicero in the store down here, and uh, we had sent my trunk and my. I don't, my sister had been teaching in Greensboro for a, a year mm -hmm. or two. She still had some things down there, and she knew she was going back down there. I forget just how we, uh, how our baggage went, but they was, uh, they, they was a, a neighbor, lived right close to where my sister roomed. He was up here, at, and he was going back to Greensboro. He, he was in a buggy. He had a good buggy animal and he took us to Wilkesboro to go on the train mm -hmm. and we that's the first time I ever saw a train. Is that right? Why well, certainly it was. I never had been to Troutdale nor and the first the car I ever saw was at Boone the summer I went up there I believe that was in I think it was 1910 and I just saw one Bertha, my sister that was there, she said, Gert, look, the under goes a car, and I saw it go way out of sight down the road, kicking up the dust. There was no more hard surface up around Boone than there is up there. So, and there was only <coughs> the first summer I was there, I mean, that summer was the first time I was at Boone, they had begun to work a little on, on, uh, they, the first brick building, <coughs> you probably know what it was, they tore it down and it just hurt me to know that they'd be that heartless to take the first brick building they had at Boom. When I went to school, they had the old, uh, well, they called it, uh, well, they, it was a wooden building. Mm -hmm. And they was, I believe, about four rooms downstairs, and then they was as many as two upstairs classrooms. <clears throat> and this main building down there, it had some classrooms in it, and it had the main auditorium. And now they can talk about, uh, there's no use in having uh, religious, religious exercises. <coughs>